have two Iberian walls. I promise we don't just have an empty enclosure that we claim has walls in it. And they're hiding up in there now, but I guarantee even if we can't see them, they can certainly still see us. They always find a little area up there just where they can poke at least one eye through and they can just watch all the way down through here. They can see down towards that bottom corner there so they know exactly when people are coming. Mainly so that they know when the keepers are coming <laughs> so then they can see if they're getting any food. So if the keeper does walk by, we'll see they'll probably get a bit more excited and hopefully they'll uh, turn their heads out a bit more to say, to say hello and uh, hopefully we'll be able to see them. So anyway, we do have two in here. We have Raul and Gregorio. Now, if we do get the chance to see them, look for the one with the floppy right ear. Now, the one with the floppy right ear constitutes Raul. So Raul has a floppy right ear. You can remember that as Raul right. And Gregorio has a ever so slightly floppy left ear. It's not overly noticeable, but he still has it. He should, you know, sometimes they kind of hear their, hear their name being shouted out quite loudly. <laughs> And they come and see what's going on. That's your cue. <laughs> right, they've never been one for theatre, I guess, because they're not, they're not coming out. Again, we can only hope. Now, Iberian walls are found in the Iberian Peninsula. Does anyone want to throw out a guess as to where that would be? Spain area, I'm guessing. Spain and Portugal, perfect. So, Spain and Portugal, you've got the Iberian Peninsula. Surprisingly, rocky mountainous regions in a peninsula, which sounds a bit odd. But that's where you're mainly going to find Iberian wolves. They mostly spend their time in habitats fairly similar to what we've got behind us here. More of the woodlandy areas where their camouflage fits in absolutely perfectly, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> camouflage working absolutely brilliantly. But if we do get to see them, you'll see a nice mix of dark greys, almost blacks, as well as some more rusty, tanny colours. And those colours there are absolutely perfect for breaking up their outline, which is actually the main way that animals camouflage. Even if a deer, if a deer is eating some grass in the field and it sees something moving in the corner of its eye, but it looks over, sees something moving, but can't tell what it is exactly, they may hesitate. And that may be just enough time for the wolves to get in close to do what they need to do. And that's exactly why they have that beautiful camouflage. Now the Latin name for the Iberian wolf is Lupus Signatus. Now Lupus you'll find in the name of every wolf and as well as your domestic dog at home. Lupus Familiaris is the domestic dog. So Lupus Familiaris is a wolf. So your dog is a subspecies of a grey wolf because of grey wolf being Lupus Lupus. It's kind of, I've explained it badly there, basically taxonomically out of the 27 wolf species about 22 of them are actually just grey wolves. They're just slightly different varieties and these guys are exactly the same. They are smaller than a grey wolf by quite a, quite a bit. A grey wolf you can expect to get around 70 to 80 kilos. These guys are maxing out around 30 to 40. So with that weight they're considered a medium predator and as a medium predator they're targeting smaller species of prey like rabbits, hares, bird species, maybe a goose if they can get close enough. But surprisingly, you won't see them go for larger animals too often. Now they actually mainly hunt on their own. They're a very independent species of wolf compared to the grey wolves, which I'm sure you've seen in documentaries, working together with real tactics and precision to target a particular elk, for example. Elk being a very large species of deer compared to a rabbit. They will very occasionally group up to target larger prey. That's mainly when they have cubs and they need to get more food in. And they will go after deer species, mainly things like roe deer that we have here in the UK. They're around 25 kilos, up to red deer, which can go well over 100.